What's up, guys? Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood, joined by TV personality, chef, writer, teacher, adventurer, Andrew Zimmer. You have many, many titles, my friend. I do. There were like seven or eight that we didn't get to. It's the world famous. Original LA Farmer's Market. Yes, and, and one of my favorite places in Los Angeles, simply because this is not a tourist trap, despite the fact that lots of tourists come here. It's worthwhile, and it is a slice of LA culture that's very, very real. Everything kind of makes me hungry, and it's, it's, I'm glad that I'm here with another person, because then we get to eat twice as much, because you can share, and you don't feel bad about over-ordering. Said the Perfect. lines were not going to be as Perfect. long. Perfect. Although there's always a line at Bob's Donuts. Two coffees, small, one cream and sugar, one black. This is T&Y Bakery. Yep. It smells up the entire farmer's market. It's delicious. Here's the issue I have. What's that? I'm gluten free. What do I do? Uh, go back to the store and get an apple. If you're willing to take a tiny little nibble... Friend, for you, I will nibble all day. You have cabbage, beef, and potato. We'll do a cabbage. Thank There's you. There's cabbage in a pastry? Absolutely. Savory pastries are dynamite. Fearful to eat this. Mm. And this is what you do every day. So I'm going to do this for you. So you like this pastry. Mm -hmm. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. You taste food from around the world. Mm -hmm. You go to corners of the globe. Most people only dream about mm -hmm. the most bizarre thing you've eaten um, on this planet. Worst thing? Let's go with worst, sure. Um, I forgot the cameraman's name. Grant. Grant. Two nights ago, the pork chops at Grant's house, overcooked, leathery, all, literally inedible, truly. As nice a guy as he is, one of the worst cooks. Why would I savage poor Grant? That's awful. Grant has been nothing but nice to me, and look at how I've... I'm sorry, Grant. Um, we're in the South Pacific, hundreds of miles off the coast of Samoa, in the middle of nowhere. A mile below the surface, the coral releases a worm uh, that they call a pololo. They die when they hit the surface in the sun, and then they sink back down and repopulate and uh, enrich the reefs. And you ate that? Yeah, they scoop it off the surface of the water. It's like a blue paste. It tastes like a cross between sea urchin, pig bile, and uh, Mr. Clean. But the experience was amazing. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm -hmm. So, Andrew, yeah. I see you're stopping doing a little window shopping at Light My Fire. It just confuses the heck out of me. You know, so, the people who make hot sauce think they're going to sell more of it, naming it uh, Dr. A Burns, Butt Pucker, Flame and Flatulence. Oh, here's one Submission, Gagged, Bound, and Blistered. A in the tub. Um, when it gets to a certain point and everyone's making the same joke, it's not so funny. But I, I'm, I'm clearly, I'm turning to my grandfather. So Andrew, I have taken mm -hmm. you to Greenhouse Produce. Ooh, fresh turmeric. Talk about a hot food right now. Oh, and look at this. Kombucha on tap, are you a kombucha person? Never had it. Really? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, it's so refreshing, so good. Very good for you. Has a lot of natural occurring probiotics and stuff mm. like that. It's wonderful. We buy kombucha in Growlers in Minnesota. We have some great local kombucha makers that I love. Since you brought it up, you're in Minnesota for a very important reason. You're from New York. Your past took you to Minnesota and now you stayed there. I got dropped there 25 years and three weeks ago today. Um, and I, you know, went to treatment. You know, I was a homeless drug addict and alcoholic and barely made it there alive. And my life just kept getting better and better every day. So I stayed and things got pretty good. Hey, how you doing? Sure. 
watches your show. All I the love time. that. Your What's your name? Ryan. Nice to meet you, man. Who's the best cook in your family? <laughs> dude, dude, let me tell you something. Even if it's a lie, always point to mom. <laughs> Serious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. Look at these guys. Meat plus bread equals good. And I happen to be into very simple things. And there are very few places that actually have rare roasted big top rounds of beef. You know, just put it onto a roll or some bread and a little dunk and just period. So I, and I happen to love that. And also, I'm a history buff. I mean, this is their 100th year. Correct, this is McGee's. Yep. 100th year. Yep. And they serving have, the meat. Yep, and they were the first uh, food vendor here at the market. You know what looks really, really good? What's that? That, that roast sandwich? Beef sandwich right for you. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this, we got the whole setup. All right, so you ready? You dip first. Oh, you're going the whole thing in. Okay, now don't eat it right away. Okay. Right now, that juice is going down through my bread, so I can now take a bite of it, it's not gonna explode everywhere. Ready? It's just so good, great bread, great drippings for a nice Jew, really good roast beef, I mean, Two good juice. There you go. Does that mean next year at Seder I have to bring the kugel? I'll bring the kugel to your house. You're cooking. All right. Really good. <laughs>